I don't know what to say. We're going. We're going. I think we'll be at our room in two hours. What do you think? Well, maybe two and a half. I don't, I don't like to look at myself. Neither do I. Gotta get used to it though. So we're in Moralia. We just checked into our room. I obviously get the big bed, the big, the big bed, and my mom gets the small bed. Obviously, just kidding. This room is made out of bricks. It's very quiet in here. Tomorrow, when it's light, there's a lot of plants. There's other people sleeping, so I have to be quiet. But look at this, beautiful room, beautiful trunk, beautiful mom. beautiful mom, beautiful mirror. There's a hat. The beams are cool. Good morning from Moralia, Mexico. We slept in and missed breakfast, but uh, we caught up on some sleep because we didn't end up coming in until midnight and going to bed till maybe 1, 1.30 in the morning. So our room's pretty dope. Check this out. Oh, my body hurts. Now that it's daytime, you can see our room that we already messed up. Vaulted ceilings, awesome decorations. The coolest part is our view outside. It looks so wet, it looks like it was raining but it wasn't, just the way the outside looks. Just outside our bedroom, we have this beautiful courtyard with some sun access. Just looks so fresh and so clean out here. So fresh and so clean. Lots of plants everywhere, that's what I like to see. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Big old couch right here too. We're gonna go all the way downstairs. Look at the ironwork. Who, my goodness. Between my mother and I, we wrecked this food. We walked into a random cafe and it turned out the food was amazing. Homemade tortillas. I had a coffee, Clef Cafe Americano. Just black coffee by itself was delicious before I even added the cream or sugar. Look at the atmosphere of this place, it's beautiful. So I didn't manage to get it on film, but while we're sitting here, we had two random strangers walk up to us. The first guy was kind of nuts. Walked straight up to my mom. What did he say in Spanish to you? Well, after I didn't respond to him, he said, crazy lady, I want to burn her. My mom simply said, I don't speak Spanish. No habla. She was being very polite. And then not even 10 minutes later, another lady walks in, elderly lady. She seemed really sweet, but uh, she, I, we didn't engage. I honestly couldn't understand what she was saying, but we didn't engage and kind of feel bad. 
in these situations, but I feel like they're, those situations are curated to guilt people into giving what they have. And I have a philosophy, which I am a very giving person, but I gotta get to know somebody first. I'm not gonna just trust a person coming up to me out of nowhere. Anywho, I expect to see more of this. Uh, when we were driving last night, our driver was telling us here in uh, Mexico, inflation has gone up a little bit. Um, it's a little more difficult for people to make a living, hard to find work. So you see uh, a rise in crime. I'm not really too worried. I've never felt unsafe um, since I've been here so far. And I'm not going anywhere suspicious, so I don't think I'll have much to worry about. Anywho, interesting experience. Next time that happens, I'll try to film it. Check out this altar right behind me too. The gourds are cool. Did you see the gourds? Oh, hey, look at the gourds. I don't feel like getting up. So what I love about Mexico <laughs> is that the indoor outdoor spaces of the colonial cities and you know a lot of these colonial homes have an indoor patio and you can show the indoor outdoor space I think. This outdoor space is just spectacular. I love all the plants, love the amount of shade. We're in a courtyard and my mom was telling me that places like this used to be like an estate, a home. It used to be a home and all of the homes inside had indoor courtyards and the, there's no roof. And so it would rain. No roof. No roof. And then all of the rooms of the house surround the courtyard. So if you look the other way, you can see these doorways. Those used to be someone's bedroom. So a very different. And I think because the weather here, they call it... Um, home of the like perpetual spring it's always really really good weather right now we're it's October uh, 28th and it's about 80 degrees at night and about 50 degrees during the day and so the weather is just temperate all year long it rains a lot here so it's uh, very lush lots of trees lots of plants beautiful for me it feels like <clears throat> it feels like summertime I could actually feel the Sun on my skin like uh, when I go to Southern California, but it's so breezy here. That breeze rolls in and it, it doesn't even feel hot. It's a little, I get a little sweaty, but it doesn't feel hot. This place is cool. It looks a lot like uh, the courtyard that we're staying in that's been converted into an Airbnb. And uh, I'm sure I have some footage of that laying around somewhere. We got done eating our breakfast. We're headed back to the room. She's got some work to do and I've got some uh, Wi-Fi to use. Look at the architecture here, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh hey, we're already here. This is our door to the place we're staying at. It's a good opportunity to show you around. up the marble stairs, or I'm sorry, the court stairs. Oh, look who it is, our good friend. <clears throat> Here's our courtyard. There's the natural sun. Here's our room. Real cool doors and windows. And our beds are made. That's nice. Here's the real tour. I think I'm gonna use this one. <clears throat> this for sure is gonna be my video about the room. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm not used to being at 6,000 feet elevation. Just walk down the street and I'm winded.
Where are we, Mom? Um, I don't know what this plaza is called. ¿Cómo se llama esta plaza? San Agustín. San Agustín? Mm -hmm. okay. San Agustín, St. Augustus? Yes. Which is probably that church right there. You can see some of Look at that. Very European.